Hi everyone. I hope you're having a very merry Christmas season. Today I thought I would do a tutorial for you on how to paint a reflective glass ornament. Glass, metal, and other shiny reflective surfaces can be a challenge to draw and paint accurately. And during the Christmas season, most of us are surrounded by ornaments that are designed to catch and reflect light. So let's have a go at painting one today. I'm going to be painting this particular round red ball with a silvery stripe in the center. I'm going to start by tracing the bottom of this cup from the Café du Monde. I saved it from my last trip to New Orleans and tracing the bottom will give me a perfect circle. Now I'm going to sketch the top of the ornament and the hook. Now for the stripe in the middle. Keep in mind that the ornament is round, not flat, so I need to draw the stripe curving along the surface. Next, I'm going to start washing in a deep blue-green. The bright, reflective spots on the ornament will stand out more brightly if they're against a dark background, so I'm going to build up the depth of color and dark values with several layers until the ornament looks like it's almost glowing. While the first layer of watercolor paint on the background dries, I'm going to paint a light layer of red on the ornament and a warm gray on the center stripe. Keep in mind that I'm waiting for each stage to dry before adding another layer of paint. Now I'm adding the second layer to the background. By now the first layer of paint on the center stripe is dry, so I'm lightly sketching in a teardrop shaped pattern on it. The teardrops on the ornament are frosted, so they're not as reflective as the rest of the surface. The best piece of advice I can give on painting shiny reflective surfaces is to carefully observe the object in front of you. Look at the shapes of the light areas and the dark areas, and try to get a feel for how light or dark they are in comparison to each other. Shiny surfaces often have a very bright highlight in one area where the brightest light is bouncing off of it and very dark areas by contrast in the shadows. Making sure the brightness or darkness of the surface is accurately reflected in your values is one way to make your object look real. I think this is the third layer of red that I've added to the ornament and you can see that now I'm pushing the really dark values. I have a white paint pen that I'm using to lighten a few areas that I painted too dark. Another layer of deep green over the background and a touch up with the white paint pen. still not dark enough. I'm adding some red mixed with Payne's Gray. Um, it's called Payne's Gray, but it's actually a deep blue black. In just a moment, I'm going to darken the background one last time as well. A few more touch-ups and this ornament will be finished. Thank you for watching, have a Merry Christmas, and I will see you in the next video.